Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So GSCH just offered to send me some stickers and enamel pins, so we're gonna design them today. So I'm thinking about going for something that looked kind of cute-ish that is not usual my style, but we'll give it a shot and see how it goes. For the first one, I'm thinking about drawing a cute, like, innocent rabbit. Let's add in two big ears on both sides. Okay, so I'm gonna draw the eyes closer to the bottom of the face. That tends to make things look cuter, like in chibi style. So we have this innocent rabbit. To spice things up, this rabbit is going to hold a knife. Actually, I'm gonna make that knife a little bit bigger because it looks a little bit too much like a butter knife right now. It's not intimidating enough. Okay, that looks more like a big kitchen knife now. Let's add a little sparkle at the top. Now I'm gonna make this rabbit hold a sign. Or more like a banner, I think. And it's gonna say... Be nice. Alright, I think that's be a pretty good sticker. For the second design, I want to have something that is the opposite. Instead of a cute innocent looking thing holding a scary object, I think I'm gonna go for something that's supposed to be scary, but then is holding something sweet and cute. Okay, so maybe let's start out with a skull. I think I want to draw like a grim reaper holding some flowers. Let's add in the hood and the cape. Okay, now I'm drawing a cute little flower that this grim reaper is gonna hold. For simplicity, I'm just gonna draw the hand like Doraemon. It look a little empty, so maybe let's add some graves behind in the background. And some flower on this grave too. Okay, so that's our second design. So for the third one, I think I'm gonna do a cheapy cartoon-ish style girl. Let's keep the eyes nice and simple. Now let's draw the hair. Let's give her some wavy hair. I know it's summer right now, but I kind of want to make this a winter theme, so I'm gonna make her wear a scarf and a sweater. Now I'm gonna add some snow kind of on her hair and also falling from the sky. So that's our third design. Let's do one more. For this last one, I'm thinking about drawing a cat kind of lying on a water lily leaf and looking at the fish trying to catch one. We'll keep it a cute simple design just like the previous ones. The face looks pretty much like the rabbit. I'm just gonna add some curves here to make it look like the cat is looking down. The ear is going to cut into the head a little bit because I want it to be more like a top view so the ears would look a little bit further down on the head. Now let's add the body, keep it simple. For the lily leaves, I'm just gonna add like a blob around the cat. Now let's add one or two simple koi fishes kind of swimming around. It look a little bit like a chicken drumstick, but I'll take it. I'm gonna add some smaller water lily leaf around this big one. And maybe another little fish over here. Well, keeping it drumstick-like. So that's our design. Oh, I'm pretty happy with all this. Now let's add some colors. Here I'm using gouache to block down the color and then some ink to go over the outlines.
Alright, so I think one have to choose two of these to send over to GSJJ. One for an enable pin and one for a sticker. It has finally arrived. I'm super excited to unboxing this right now. I asked on my Instagram story what design you guys like and you picked the cat and the Grim Reaper. I kinda let GSJJ decide for me and they went to make the cat the sticker and the Grim Reaper the enamel pin. Okay, let's see what they actually look like outside this plastic bag. Ooh, it's so cute! Wait, let me fix the camera real quick. And the color came out super vibrant and very accurate to what I wanted. So there are these Pantone cards that you can use to match your color, but I just kinda let GSJJ help me with picking the correct colors for my design. And they did a super awesome job. Okay, let's see how the enamel pins come out. So they are all packaged in this small individual plastic bag. Let's open one up. Ooh, that's feel really sturdy. And the color is super nice too. I'm really happy with how this turned out. Okay, let me try attaching this pin to something. I'm thinking about like this string on my sketchbook. Yeah, I really like that. I'm definitely gonna keep that there. I'm also attaching this to my backpack. I think it looks pretty good on like a dark object. I'm not really sure what I should do with these stickers. Okay, what if I put this in the middle of this sketchbook and then use acrylic to paint like a background on this black cover sketchbook? Let me know in the comments if you would like to see that in a video. I want to say thank you GSJJ for sponsoring this video. I'll leave the link in the description if you would like to design and make your own sticker with them. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. I have a lot more painting tutorial videos here on the channel if you want to check them out. And I will see you in the next one.